I was in the hallway, I was in seventh grade, I was walking to Mr. Wright's earth class, and somebody said that we we're under attack. And then uh, we went in lunch, and those there's TVs in the cafeteria, and those TVs were never on. And, and then they were on that day. I remember 9-11 very well. I was teaching in New York on Long Island about 25 miles from New York City. And uh, that morning I was getting uh, ready to go in, into school and teach, and a friend of mine uh, called me and uh, said, are you watching the news? I said, no. He said, turn on the local news. And um, that was just when the first plane had hit the World Trade Center. When 9-11 happened, I was in high school. I was a senior. And I was walking the halls, and my English teacher rushed out of the room and pulled every student she could find into her classroom. Even if we weren't in her class, she pulled us in there. But I was in my fifth grade science class, and I remember they just they just uh, turned on the TV and they said there was some news, and I saw America, you know, under attack. I remember I was in uh, South Dakota, which is where I worked at the time, and uh, ironically enough, I was interviewing a, a director candidate that particular day, someone from the East Coast. And um, so it was behind closed doors. I remember coming out and um, seeing it on a television, seeing it replayed. And um, my first reaction was, okay, this is just, um, somebody's played with film here. This isn't real, this isn't real. And I remember, you know, we're there, we're watching it. We saw the, the, the second plane hit. Uh, and then uh, I went home after that and I just, me and my family were just, we're glued to the TV the whole entire time. And I remember seeing people jump out of the buildings because there was just nowhere else to go. I remember watching the, the towers collapse, seeing the Pentagon hit, uh, the, the Flight 93 go into the field. And uh, it was it was traumatic. I mean, to this day, it's been 10 years, but if I start talking about it, I'll still get chills to this day talking about it. Now, I remember thinking, oh, it's similar to what happened back in the 1940s when a plane hit the uh, Empire State Building. Everybody thought it was just an accident. And uh, he says, well, somebody was saying that it was terrorism. And I was watching television when the second plane came and hit the, uh, the second tower uh, at, the, at the World Trade Center. And uh, then after that, I had to go in, so I went into school, and of course, that was the main topic of conversation. Everybody was talking about it. People were giving me updates and news, and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen to the towers, and I remember coming back to, my, to the history office and being told by a secretary that the towers were falling down. I had a friend who was, he took off work that day, he went down there, and he actually was going up to see the towers and was caught in this mad rush of people running away when the towers collapsed. Uh, and he just sort of got out of there uh, fairly quickly before the towers came down. So uh, the school where I was teaching, we were we closed at noon. Everybody went home. And she set us down. She said, this is history. And we were like, what are you talking about? And then we saw the planes hitting the buildings and we were just, just stunned. We were just like, what, what's happening? Like, what's going on? And the whole day at school was, no one did anything. We were just like kind of taken back. People were trying to call their family members because some people were in New York. And so that's what I remember. I remember I was kind of like, why did it happen? And why did, why did they do it? And I was like, so I remember like every moment. And I remember the buildings and all that. So I remember just the shock, everybody's shocked. Everybody, that's all they talked about for like a whole week and just everything on TV. So I remember the exact moment and I always will. You know, it was a really big tragedy event. So something I'll never forget. And um, I said, no, this is, this is a real newscast. This is happening. This is real time and this is real life. And one of my initial uh, feelings was um, just kind of disappointment in myself that I didn't take it at face value, but then again on the flip side. I don't want to be that easily um, sweet and surprised by something that's so devastating. And um, I think one of the things that 9-11 uh, prompted for me personally um, was it, it, it makes us stop and reflect. Um, I think some of our failures um, stem from which, when we forget things.